Yeah, <laughs> dude, her lifestyle is like high class, bro. And houses, caviar night, life is good. <laughs> I have a lot of investors lately. Do you really? Yeah. What are I'm, they buying? Land. I have a guy. I just got the phone. He wants. Um, there's like 30 lots that he wants. I have another mm -hmm. that wants. Th have you ever heard about the thousand lots that are on? It's like downtown. They're one th closer. Not downtown. Like MLK. North Las Vegas Airport. Mm -mm. So I have a couple people that are interested in that little area, but we're trying to talk them into like some warehouse stuff. How are you going to parcel all that together? That's what I'm saying. Like assembling it, mm -hmm. you would have to, because you can't build on like any of the interior lots mm -hmm. until you get all the other lots because you have to bring in all the utilities. So it, it's hard because once these people start selling, these people are going to find out, oh, they want my land. So it's going to go up. It was supposed to be 30 grand a, a lot. Yeah, that's what um, I did this a couple years ago uh, back at downtown. We assembled, I think, maybe a total of eight parcels. But then you got to get one guy to agree. He wants to know what this person is yes. making. He wants more money. Then it just doesn't make any sense. It's so hard. Like, so what ends up happening with that thousand parcel, like thousand lots? What do you do with them? And they just sit there for the rest of the <laughs> You buy them individually and hold on to it. <laughs> All right, guys. So today we are here in uh, the city of Las Vegas, west side of Las Vegas Valley, Summerlin. And we are in Red Rock Country Club, correct? Yep. Lisa Lopez. She's the agent. You guys probably seen her before on our podcast. We actually got a lot of hits. I think it's because of her looks, <laughs> which uh, that's the reason why we're back here. So that way I can get more views on this channel. But <laughs> anyway, she's got this beautiful home. Um, that she is remodeling. She has done multiple custom homes like this in the ridges too as well, right? How many homes did you own in the ridges? Two. Okay, two. So what is this, number four, five, six remodel? You're this doing? is probably my 10th now. 10th, wow, interesting. <laughs> See, this is sad. She's doing all this big stuff and I'm only doing like condos. Very pathetic. Anyway, <laughs> all right, so what's going on with the exterior here? So, what are your um, plans? Well, first, as you know, in Red yeah. Rock Country Club, everything's about 20 years old. Oh, yeah. So, it's very dated in here. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't like the archways, I don't like the color. Clearly, we see the paint yeah. swatches over here. Can we go um, take a look at that? Yeah. Yeah, let's take yeah, a look yeah. at these uh, paint colors and kind of explain to the audience. You know, when, when you're building a custom home within an HOA, kind of like the process of going through all this. Wow. Okay. So first, yeah. I had to p get a designer okay. to help me out um, who knows architectural design as okay. well, because there's so much going on. It You'll find out when we walk yeah. in. But as you pick things, um, you, you, you have an HOA. Mm-hmm. And you have to submit an entire package because each package you submit costs money. Okay. Um, and you just want one big approval so you could just move forward with the job, right? Yeah. So you have to get um, all of your finishes, exterior. Um, you have to have all of your engineered plans submitted with mm -hmm. measurements and all of that. I don't know all of the, the details yeah. on the engineering part. Um, but you also have to submit your plans to the county and submit the permit number to the HOA as well. So this HOA tends to be really strict, I'm finding out. Yeah. Um, they want actual finishes dropped off at the office. They want oh, wow. to see them and touch them physically. They want you to paint these two by two uh, paint swatches on your house showing you where like literally where the paint will be placed okay in the house so it looks like you have one color for the trim mm -hmm. right then you have another color for the base yep and again the trim here yep 
And what are these right here for the garage? Garage doors, yeah. So it looks like you've also labeled these, right? Yeah, so Red Rock Country Club, the, the architectural review committee, yeah. literally will drive through the community and come check out your paint swatches on your house, and they need the paint labels mm -hmm. on them as yeah, well. Interesting. Yeah. So has this already been approved or not yet? Um, we're waiting to hear back on the paint. Okay. But I have a soft approval because... Again, Red Rock, usually architectural review committees meet about once a month because yeah. otherwise it'd be, it'd be a full-time job. So I, because I didn't have a full submission last month, mm -hmm. um, but I needed to order doors and windows, I asked for a soft approval. Okay. So I have like a soft approval to get stuff done. Okay. We're still <laughs> waiting on paint colors. We got in trouble. The The paint colors I chose were too stark white. So mm -hmm. they told us we had to, I don't know, go like in 30% of the color of black or white within 30% of those Interesting. colors. Yeah. All right, can we go inside and see what's going yeah. on? Yeah, definitely. So just real quickly, you mentioned that you were gonna do the stone too though, right here? Yep, this will be a white type marble mm -hmm. stack stone of some sort. Probably very similar to my uh, Ridges house. Okay. Yeah. And then here we're going to square off this entryway mm -hmm. and change, of course, this green gates are hideous. But we'll change these. And what my plans are is because as you walk in, you'll see you can go to the uh, the right up there and there's a loft. Yeah. It's a casita. So I want this completely private. I'm going to have like a an electronic buzzer where I can let you in or out right here. This oh, will essentially nice. be my front door. Cool. Yeah. And this will be solid, so you okay. can't really see through. Um, here, we're going to take out all this glass block. It's very old-fashioned. Um, so we're going to change these into some decent, normal windows. And then up these stairs is the casita. Okay. So it looks like you're adding some more lights here? Is that so, what's going no. On? Actually, during the whole um, engineering process, mm -hmm. The engineer had to come here quite a few times and it's it's one of the reasons why it's been demoed for quite some time. They had to, I wanna do so much to the house that they yeah. had to literally go inside the walls and see what What's was going on. behind okay. the drywall. So here, this is actually a bedroom. Okay. I'm going to pull this wall because they're kind of small rooms. I'm gonna pull this wall out here. Okay, so you're gonna flush so, it. Yeah, that's why they opened this. They needed to see what they could do here. Okay. And then I'm going to put sliders. Nice. Yeah. And then these pillars will be squared off into rectangular pillars because they're structural. You can't remove them. Yeah. And then here we're going to have like a really nice, big, heavy pivot door. I'd like wood, but wood in Vegas doesn't go mm. so well. So we might have to go the steel door route. Glass. So how many square feet is this home? Bedrooms, this is bathrooms? 3,465 square feet, and it is a four bedroom, if mm -hmm. you include the casita, and it's a five bathroom, no, not five bathroom, sorry, I'm, yeah, five bathroom. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like you've already got everything all demoed, yeah. ready to go. Yep. So I take it this is the main living area, is that what this is? This is, actually, this is what would be a formal living room and formal mm -hmm. dining room. Okay. So what I don't like about it. <laughs> <laughs> but you bought it. <laughs> well, no, but I bought it with the vision. Okay. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. um, I actually had agents call me when I bought this mm -hmm. house to ask me what, who in the world of my clients would want to buy this home. Yeah. And I said, I bought this house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I see a vision. Mm -hmm. I do. So um, if you look, this wall will be removed. Okay. So that's coming out. So this wall, well, it's a sheer wall. You mm -hmm. have to have a sheer wall because I didn't realize this sheer walls make the movement back and forth of the house. Like I always thought it was on the sheer walls that they were on the exterior, but that's new to me. Yeah. So if it's, if it's inside, mm -hmm. you can move it, but you can't remove it. What does that mean? Explain so, that to me. So <laughs> like you can move it from here to here, here but, you, but need... you cannot remove it because it helps with the shifting okay. of the house. Yeah. So you're going to take this, move it here, open this up more. Yes, because right beyond here, you'll see there's the kitchen and, and the main living area is back okay. here. So in here, um, this is actually a wet bar area. I'm going to take this entire wall from the bar, right where the door starts, all the way to the end of the window, and I'm going to put a stackable 
glass door here. Nice. Yeah. And then all of these windows, the arches will be removed and I'm putting in rectangular windows to fit. So you're doing those two as well? Yep. Basically you're doing all the windows. Yeah. Who are you using for your windows? Um, so I'm using a guy, his name's Rick Salter, Western Window Not and Nicole Door. Nicole Mann from Glass Vegas? No, not Nicole. Very disappointing. <laughs> Rick you Salter. You told me, I would have hooked you up. Rick did my, um, the house I built okay. in the ridges. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, he's doing okay. that. What else have we got going on? Wait, I want to so ask you this, I'm sorry. Are we getting rid of this? No. Are you squaring this off? Are we you are leaving squaring okay. this off and we're going to have a waterfall edge. Okay, perfect. Um, we wanted to remove this wall, okay. but we cannot. And I was very sad because right beyond it was going to be my tequila display. Because oh. I don't know if you know this, Chuck, it's, but I love tequila. Okay. <laughs> May have to give her a bottle of tequila, but I don't know anything about drinking. So what's a good bottle of tequila, guys? Well, for, well, hold on. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what's the price tag on that, guys? We'll get you the black bottle. I have one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's like seven hundred The extra in Yeho? Okay, yeah, it's about sense. fifteen now. About 15 now. They're crazy. Dude, now. she's living life <laughs> like a bala. Guys, I have one. Like, <laughs> needs another one. I, I need another one. Yeah. All right. So, what else are you doing here? So, um, here we're just gonna rip that okay. out and make this a really nice, pretty bar. So, in here. Let's start this direction. This is the kitchen, or was the kitchen, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the family room. So all of the fireplaces, I'm making them the long linear modern ones, and mm -hmm. we're going gas, not electric, because I feel that electric in this level of home mm -hmm. is just a little cheap. Okay. Um, I, don't you feel that way? Like, well, I don't know. It depends, but all the flip guys are using electric. I but know, It looks but cool, but you can't tell on a 72 it's a linear fireplace. I mean, yeah. it just looks cool. You think you can't tell that it's electric versus... Well, I, I think people don't really care, but... I with, can't afford this house. I can't tell. Jeremy. With her style and taste, <laughs> it's got to be gas. <laughs> I mean, that, let's just be real. <laughs> it is what it is. Fire, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, That's what I'm saying, right? It has to put it out heat. But my clients say stuff. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. You know, the, my listing in the ridges, mm -hmm. I've had two people come look at it and they'll ask me, is this real fire? Yeah. So. But the electric does give out some BTUs. Yeah, but I understand that the fire is completely different, especially during the winter time. Mm -hmm. You get that nice smell, whatever. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. yeah, exactly. All right, so you're you're gonna do this whole thing. Yeah. So you're gonna recenter this, this right? Will all be yes, different. Okay. There'll be two two rows of shelves, and then the big long linear fireplace. So. TV's going to go here too as well? TV will go above, right. Okay, so your furniture's come this way. And then in here, what we're doing, this is my favorite part. Okay. This part is one of my favorite parts of this house. I'm opening both of these walls up completely to, to glass stackable doors. So the interesting part, you know, I always got to do what I want. So yeah. <laughs> they told me here, I couldn't, I could only put glass doors up to here. Which and makes I'm sense. Like, Makes sense, but I want what I want. <laughs> so are you re-engineering a whole beam all the way across to keep this all open? Because that's going to be pretty pricey. I wish I could. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that is very pricey. You're right. No. But my engineer did find a very good solution for me. So okay. we're going to have a steel pole, literally just a four, like two by two uh, pole that will be in the middle. So it would just flush up on it, so it's yes. more seamless. That yes. makes sense. Well, my thing is the view. I mean, yeah. look at the view. Yeah, you do have a nice view. Yeah. What um, hole is this right here? I don't know. Someone told me it's two holes. There's a hole here, and there's a hole here, and then there's a tee box. Can you see it? Like, yeah. off that way? I can't remember which holes they are, though. But that's Promontory Point. These mm -hmm. are part of uh, the private Red Rock. Yeah. Of course. And then that mountain they light up every night. You know what I like about this is you can really see the landscaping. You still get the golf course, you get the greenery, but it's just not flat the way it's laid out. Yes. It's really nice. This is one of the biggest reasons why I said this house is good. I bought this house because I'm going to live here. I'm not flipping it. I am yeah. moving into it. But 
because I've bought and sold so many homes, I have always bought with resale in mind, mm -hmm. always. And I try to advise my clients the same way, I'm sure you do too. Um, but resale, I think that this is gonna sell, especially when I open this all up. Yeah. Um, this island was like a really weird, like that was the stove back there. Are you gonna put the refrigerator there? That's gonna be the refrigerator. The mm. stove's going here. Okay. The island will go this way. So when you're washing dishes, this was a very big thing for me. When yeah. I'm washing dishes. Makes sense. You can look out there. I way. can look at like a gorgeous view versus like, I don't know. It was set right here. So yeah. and it was a weird oval island as you can see in the ground. Yeah. Um but yeah, I'm, I'm turning it all around so that you can take advantage of this whole view. Now, I've noticed the texture of the wall. You just have the standard, you know, orange peel, skip draw here. Are you doing a level five finish on there? What are you doing? I haven't decided yet. I don't know. Mm. I would like to. I just need to find, I need to see. I want to do the level five and I want to square off all the corners. I I really I think you should. <laughs> that, that's the problem with these custom homes. When you start making one design, it just starts compiling. Yeah, it just gets out of control. Well, yeah. Because things I... are not going to match. Right. So you got to go all in. It's like, how do you go from round windows to like, yeah. Same problem happened with the backyard. Mm -hmm. Where do you, um, you see that slate out there? That was the same. That was in here. That's got to go. That was everywhere. So that will, I'll, when we open that okay. door, it's going to all just, we're, we're raising, see there's like lower yeah. parts. We're raising it all to be one height and it'll go seamlessly, same flooring, indoor, oh, outdoor. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what type of flooring are you going to be doing here? So I'm actually doing um, wood look tile. Okay. I'm doing a blonde with some uh, gray tones in it and I'm going to lay it herringbone. Mm -hmm. Um but I chose tile because I have dogs okay. and I have wood in, in my house in the ridges and I don't care what they say, wood scratches with dogs and I'm, okay. I'm too picky. I'll and, have my floor refinished every six months. And uh, how long are the, uh, the tiles? Um, I don't know, like 12, no, they gotta be like 36 what, 24, inches. 36 inch okay. plank. That's gonna look really type. nice. Yeah. Okay. So what's going on down here? Down so the this is all the secondary bedrooms and okay. the powder. And we're doing a lot here too. So powder had these hideous rounded, you see that rounded yeah. arch? So when you walked in the powder, there was a toilet and two like rounded walls around you. Mm -hmm. So of course I wanted to remove those. But this room, all the rooms are kind of small in here. Mm -hmm. And my kids are used to larger rooms. So I'm moving this wall. This secondary room wall will come to about here. Okay. And then the opening for this will be about here where this wall is. Okay. Yeah. So we're making the powder a little smaller. A little smaller makes sense. You don't so if, if, if you're bringing this out to here, is this going to be a closet on this side? Or you're um, moving this whole wall? It's a closet. So you see okay, so you're making it yeah. these tiny closets in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we need more closet space in there. <laughs> So let's go take a look at this bedroom real quick. Yeah. This is kind of interesting. So you're going to take this wall, probably butt it up, maybe right about here. Just correct? about, yep. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Toilet still goes in the same area, sink and everything. Um, so this one was a difficult bedroom to, or bathroom to fix. Um, this one I had to, I wanted to make the shower a little bigger. Mm-hmm. So we actually are using, are we doing a barn door here? No, I think we're doing the barn door in the other one. We had to move this toilet a little. Okay. Um, so that will be moved um, and change this layout a little bit of this sink, but it'll pretty much be okay. sink with a, a, a little bit of a larger vanity so that this toilet has now, going back to windows, are you replacing this too? And the only reason why I'm saying that is because then these ones are outdated. Um, no, I'm not replacing all the windows. Okay. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. Why are we not changing out all the windows? Do you want me to point? change out all the windows? I think you should. I mean, these are like 2,000 windows. I know, right? Probably, they're probably... 
like not. They much. probably don't even work. Yeah. I'm just saying at uh, a price at this or this home at this price point, you got these windows and you have some beautiful custom windows installed. Now you got this. Well, I would think those are going to look somewhat the same. Right? Oh yeah, who? I haven't seen the windows open like this in a long when, time. When when we come back here, this these better be changed sneak out. Sneak out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so coming down this way. And in here, oh. Chuck, if, look at oh. this. See all of this? This was a lowered coffer of the ceiling. Oh, Can see, you see? To get all that out. So yeah. I took it all out. And check this out. I was really disappointed okay. in, Show me. in this builder, if you know who it is. Oh, my God. They ran what? it. Why the did they do that? that? So now they got to remove that, bring it back up, and run it through. Well, if I want to raise the ceiling all the way up, which I do. Yes. So we are moving <laughs> Then you're going to move all the duct work, yep. all the piping, the gas line. Just like easy, cheap stuff. Why, why, like, why did they do that to begin with? Well, because it was part of the style back then. But they could have still installed it up higher now. Yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah, so that all has to be moved up. Can I ask you, would you pay for this home? I paid one five. By the time it's done, what do you think the uh, re, uh, the value of this home by the time you're done? Well, with the market, the way that it's yeah. been fluctuating, I mean, I think two-ish. Okay. I think, yeah. I mean, it's... It's going to be really nice when it's done. How much do you think it's going to cost you to do everything that you want to do? Do I think or do I know? <laughs> <laughs> do you think? I already know. <laughs> well, I might go up some too, right? Um, it's about a seven hundred and fifty. dollars Okay, so that's not bad. So you'll still be in a good position. But yeah. You'll have a house that you want. Yeah. Okay. So obviously well, this... Well, I plan to live here for yeah. five to seven years as well. So mm -hmm. I would imagine in five to seven years, I'll make my money back or yeah. more even. So here we're in the laundry room. In the laundry room. Obviously we're going to have a sink. We're going to have a sink here. Tell me you're going to have two washers and dryers. No. No? No. Oh. Why? I mean, it's big enough. <laughs> oh, but... So I'm having lots of cabinet space here. Okay. I'll have floor to ceiling like um, closets here uh -huh. for just overflow of shoes. We don't wear shoes in our house. Mm -hmm. Kids shoot because their closets are small. So shoes, hats, coats maybe. Um, and then I'll have one area just to hide all of, you know, yeah. vacuums and blues. doors will be replaced. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know why they cut that hole, but that goes to the bathroom. They cut it for, oh, this was probably like a shampoo box. Gotcha. Mm. Okay. All right, what else do we have? So then we have this room, okay. which again, we are squaring off this wall. This was a rounded wall. This is the closet here. So these closets have given me such a headache because they're so small and I hate those sliding door things because mm -hmm. You can't see everything in your Correct. closet. So I worked with my designer. Um, actually, I actually told her <laughs> how to do this because I was so frustrated. We're going to have a mill worker basically build a built-in closet just with exterior doors. Oh, nice. So it'll look like a, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, wardrobe. Okay. But built-in and then so some drawers. It'll just be exterior and it'll look like a finished cabinet. Got it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything and then, else you're doing here? Also, I noticed you only got one light. Are we adding more oh, lights? We are adding lights, yes. Okay. <laughs> and obviously we're changing out that light because that yes. thing is like outdated. Every, those lights are throughout this entire house. That's yes. crazy. So those are getting switched. There'll be four can lights in each bedroom now, mm -hmm. at least, depending on the size. And then um, all in that that living okay. area as well yeah this room was really weird it had to accommodate the stairs that go up to the casita so it had these adobe looking stairs in the drywall so what are you going to do with that now so this one we can't do much with because of this duct work so we're going to just build it so it's a, a squared off whatever i don't know <laughs> wow that's gonna look strange but it'll I... look weird but i think we're gonna we're gonna do something so it doesn't look so weird i don't mm. know how we're gonna do it but my designer and i are are kind of working on it so here's the bathroom this one's a little yeah. bit bigger i would this say this one we have the barn door so this okay. one was weird it had double sinks in here 
So I'm removing the double sinks. It's going to be one sink. Mm -hmm. The shower will come out more this way. So okay. it gives it some more space. And, um, and then I think we're leaving that bathroom just like that. So this okay. will be one sink versus two. And are and you then, still doing a bench too here as well when you bring it out or are you getting rid of yes, the Yes. No, all showers have to have a bench. Okay. What if you have a girl? They need to like put their leg up to shave their legs. Well, I don't know. I never thought of it. <laughs> yeah, the bench is for. Yeah. Okay, that no, makes for sense. sitting. I no. thought it was just to put, you know, supplies. <laughs> <laughs> See? Now I know. But here we'll have a barn door. Okay. Again, saving more space because it's a small room. And I figured if you had a bed and a nightstand, yeah. how do you, you know, move the door around? So I figured if we did a barn door. And it saves you a lot more space. Yeah. So looks like there was another softener built out here too as well. They made it to match this one. Oh. So there were two of those adobe looking stairs. So now you'll just frame this up then. Right. right? That'll okay. just go up. And this we're, we're working on. We're trying to come up with an idea. Yeah, I'm interested in seeing what it looks like after and what you're going to do with that. <laughs> so. But we forgot the primary. We're going to go to the primary. We haven't gotten to the primary. Yeah, all right, let's go to the primary. Yeah. Are we getting rid of this or are you leaving We are it? getting rid of this. Okay. <laughs> yes. This will all be squared off. A little bit of this wall has to remain because it's, I don't know, something structural. Mm -hmm. But it will not be round at all. Okay. Yeah. This is getting switched out. Again, that flooring is getting changed. Um, fireplace will be linear. I'm getting rid of the hearth. Um, so it'll be, and I'm getting rid of that niche. So it'll be one flat wall, linear fireplace, TV above. Unfortunately, you're gonna lose more space, but I think it looks better to yeah. flush it all out. Yeah. So. I wanted to bump it out, but oh, really? can't. So is your linear fireplace going here or are you centering everything? It will be centered. Yeah, okay. it will be centered. All right. Yeah. So and here, obviously, we can't do nothing because of the uh, trusses here. Right. But this was all rounded. These archways were rounded okay. and I'm having them squared off as well. Block glass will come out. Okay. And then um, in here, we have two closets. They're rather small. Mm -hmm. So we're <laughs> expanding that way and we tried to expand that way again, but we can't because of the, um, I don't know, structural wall. We yeah, can't okay. move it. So shoe closet, clothes closet. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then this closet will come to here. Okay. We're going to expand it to here and move the, uh, there's a toilet room right there. The water closet. We're mm. going to move it a little bit here. This will be a display for bags and whatever. What kind um, of bags? Chanel bags. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to have her LED lights. My new Birkin. No. <laughs> <laughs> so then here I'm going to have two vanities <clears throat> or two, two sinks and then a small vanity right here. And okay. I'm going to have, I already picked my mirrors. They're the, the ones with the backlight in them. Oh, nice. And then I'm going to have a hanging picture mirror for okay. my vanity. And what type of stone or countertops are you doing here? We have not picked that yet. That's the one that we're going next week to pick. Okay. And what color are your cabinets? So all of the cabinets will be white and gray. Okay. And it's not going to be your standard white sugar cabinets. No. Okay. No. <laughs> what kind of cabinets do you put in here? I haven't decided on that. Oh, okay. I was supposed to go today to the mill worker, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> but we're filming this. So See this, guys? Filming. See? <laughs> so obviously, so here's the... this is going to be my favorite part. Okay. This entire thing is opening up. This whole thing. That's the shower. This whole shower. That whole thing is opening up. It will be um, tile, all, you know, continuous tile. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a pedestal tub. I Which is nice, yes. Tub too. It's so pretty. Is it square or what's the shape of it? Um, it's it's like a, a it's like a contour with mm -hmm. an oval. It's very sexy. It's like the high back ones. Yes. Yeah. And uh, obviously, it's probably no white. cloth. No. Cloth no. And what's the material on it? Uh, it's the white. Like I don't know what they make them of. Pour some fiberglass now. Well, acrylic. they're like matte. Fiberglass is the cheapest one, but it, yeah, you okay. probably got an expensive one. What would you pay for it? Oh yeah, you really want yeah, to Yeah, it's probably 4,600 bucks. Yeah. What, how much? 46, what'd you pay? Thanks. What? Seven. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, be careful. Bro, she's got a tub that is worth more than that truck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your car, too. How does that make you feel? How much do you think my toilet's going to cost? Is it the one that go up? It goes up like that? Well, can I tell you again? The Toto Neo Rest. Okay, so your toilet... No, her toilet's probably about $3,600. No. Yeah, it's 10 grand. grand. 10 grand. Sprays the bowl Pizza. with water. 10 grand, bro. The 10 grand. Seat is warm. <laughs> yeah, the seat's warm. And then when you're done, you walk away. Yeah, it flushes, it deodorizes. It puts the seat Wait, back it down. lights up before. <laughs> when this home is done, I'm going to come here and take a. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Yeah, they're expensive, bro. Wait, are you buying one? How many are you buying? Just one. Oh, just one? Wait, That's just for the you. The kids don't get them. <laughs> So, so I could definitely imagine this. This is going to look gorgeous. Obviously, what are we doing with these windows here? Those are all coming down. I'm putting one... Um, Linear on the top? Yeah. You don't want to just leave three coming down? No. I think that'd be sexy. Three little skinny. Yeah, taking a shower. It's like, but that's the maybe. front of the house. <laughs> <laughs> what I actually wanted to do was put one big window and have that carbon, you know, where you like push yeah. the button and it just blurs it out. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, but they talked me out of that. Very yeah, but the problem with that is they're actually, uh, how, how it works is with a 24 volt battery, not a battery, but 24 volts. Mm -hmm. But what happens is sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, we're like you know, like sometimes you turn on the switch and it doesn't frost it's up. Glasses, yeah, exactly. So many times and it stops yeah. working after a while. That's why I was like, uh, I don't think it's yeah. safe because what if it doesn't work? Then how do I take a shower? <laughs> you just do. <laughs> you just do it. So this will all be like okay. two shower heads. He, it, oh, you're putting two shower heads here. I thought you're knocking all this out. It is all knocking out. It okay. Was, but I'm just I'm acting like okay, okay. the wall. It'll be there, but it'll be two shower heads, nice. body sprayers, rain head, mm. and then just a piece of glass that's big enough to, to keep the water splash down. You know what? I actually like that versus having a door, and if you just have a glass enough where everything just, you can just walk in. Yeah, that's what it'll yeah, be. Yeah, that's going to be dope. So this will look like kind of like a spa bath. Yeah. Um, thing we'll have like a table with, you know, shampoo and soap and whatever you need nice. over there. Yeah. It'll be really nice. Oh, and what are we doing with this right here? Spot. Are you filling this in? That'll be all filled in. Yes. Okay. So you square that all. Yes. If you could imagine what this looked like before, first of all, this had four by four peach tiles oh. all over the place. And it was a bathtub. And from here to there, you could lay on it. It was just oh, wow. a tile counter. So it's just a lot of dead space. Dead space. That was a rounded island mm -hmm. with bookshelves underneath. Like you could sit there. I didn't understand it. It was mauve like granite. It's so ugly. But Jeez. what I didn't understand was what do you do? Sit there and like watch your spouse brush their teeth like while sipping on champagne. <laughs> you, you know like when you walk into those like old homes, mm -hmm. those age restricted homes and you can smell it and everything just oh, looks yeah. old that's what this house reminds me of oh yeah based on how, how she's describing can it. i tell you too <laughs> yeah guess what happened during my inspection what happened i found out there was a rodent infestation oh if you look at the ceilings are all open because i had every piece of insulation mm -hmm. removed because there were 15 dead rats oh my god in the attic in you could smell it you can no. smell it? No, you know what they told me? What? They were in traps and they were so old they were disintegrating. So oh. whoever lived here smelled trapped it. all those rats and left them out there and just smelled them rotting. So now that you know that, are you kind of like worried about that? No, like because the, the ridges is littered with rats and so is Red Rock Country. Everywhere is littered with rats. There were, there's a golf course. Yeah. So you just treat it clean it out put new insulation in and put rat stations everywhere okay. bait boxes okay. yeah i've actually had infestations in the ridges and um you've caught a couple of rats right where here in the ridges in the ridges oh yeah okay oh yeah i've caught some rats so <laughs> one one thing i noticed that you have radiant bear which is good you talked about insulation are you going to do the blown in insulation or a batten insulation for this home so this house had batted insulation mm -hmm. and I keep, I have heard two things. Okay. Yeah. Someone's like, you have to go back with batted insulation and someone else like, you have to go with the blown in. Mm -hmm. I need to do my research. I haven't decided on which one to go with. Okay. Why, what's your opinion? 
I personally like blown in insulation because later on, if you got to move things around, it's a lot easier. But with the blown in insulation, after a while, after a couple of years, it starts to get flat and, and you, you literally got to go re-blow it. Yep. That's downfall. I feel like it works better on an R rating, but it really doesn't matter if you do batten. I or... think it's more efficient, the blown. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was just so old that, so all these steps are going to get refinished, new cool decking, new doors up here. This will be my new office. Oh, you're going to have to do the uh, the top of that right there. Where? Look Ooh. at your drain. Yeah, that'll have to be redone. But I mean, that's easy. I didn't even see that. Now you did. See, look, I helped you out. This is Oh, wow. Guys, Slash hold on. Gym. Look at her beautiful cabinet. She's an install. Those are the old these ones. These are the ones. No, these are the ones, Those right? These are the new ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are the new ones. See? <laughs> beautiful. So, so, what's the purpose of this? What are you going to do with this? This is going to be my office okay. slash gym. Got it. I'm just going to have like a couple weights. I have a full gym at my other house. Yeah, but, but there's a gym here at this community, isn't there? You have to be a member. And you're not a member? I'm not a member of the country club, no. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I might. I want to learn how to golf. Okay. That would well, make me do it. Well, when you do, then I'll play with you. I'm not that good either. Okay. <laughs> we'll go break windows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so in here, um, I was actually going to put my oldest, my second oldest boy in here. I would have took this room if I was in Oh, he here. wants this room. Bro. And then I was like, he's never leaving. <laughs> I put him in here. <laughs> Bro, I'd be bringing chicks up here galore. Right? Remember that? <laughs> yeah, so this place had a kitchen where York is standing. There was okay. a kitchen back there. Um, I, I don't do kitchens and bedrooms. It's disgusting. That's probably how they had a rat problem here. <laughs> okay. And, um, but it will be a small, uh, I think we're, this is going to be closet space, I believe. We're moving. No, we're keeping this. This will be a small um, because it's going to be my office now. I just have to remember that. When it was his room, I took it out. When it became my office, I made it to where, just like a drink bar so that I can be in here. Yeah, that'd be working. nice, a drink bar, and at least have a sink to, do you going to put a sink or no? Yeah, there will be a sink okay. and then a refrigerator, okay. no dishwasher, and then cabinets. But obviously with the original, well, there wasn't a dishwasher up here, was there? No, there was a microwave and a sink. Okay. I thought you meant there was a full kitchen. I was going to say cap that off no, and like hold on to it. Thing. So Yeah. Yeah. But this is kind of weird how they built this kind of like an L shape here. So they had this as a closet. This is going to open. Okay. That's. This will open. This is going to all become a, like a, a bathroom and closet area. Okay. So this will be closed off. All this will be pushed back. Correct. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And then the same thing with the mill worker, what he did, mm -hmm. how we're doing that, like built-in cabinet, basically, that's the kind of closet we're going to have in here. Okay. This will all be one big slider, a yep. stackable door. We're going to raise this patio. I don't know why they lowered it. It's really weird. We're going to raise it so it's one level. So you want a zero threshold, like mm -hmm. your house? Okay. Yep. And it will be the same flooring continued out here. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. With the tile. With the tile. Yep. And then we're going to build an outdoor kitchen right here. Okay. Because this, this house doesn't have an outdoor kitchen. So you're going to have an outdoor kitchen here, but then you have your slider. Did your slider it's, stop here, right? It's stack here. Okay, it stacks here. But you have this access door from the bar. Okay. Which is literally the kitchen. Yeah. Right? So that's what I planned on how I plan on using it. Because using the stackable door sucks. But I mean, wh how big of a space are you going to get in this little area? I don't need a huge one. Just, um, it's not going to be a huge outdoor kitchen. Yeah. I'm just going to have a grill like here. Maybe this facing far that out? way. Okay. I don't know. We haven't drawn the plans for this part yet. Because <laughs> your, your door is going to stack and slide right about here, right? It'll stop right here. Oh, so it's going to actually go in even further. Okay. Yeah, like all this stone is coming off. Okay. And then it'll stack right there. Got it. And then the kitchen will probably come to about here. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm either going to take these pillars down if I can. I was waiting for him to tell me. I think I can because it's yeah. that awning. 
or if I have to keep them, I'm going to square them off. I don't like them though. They block the view. I just like big open. Yeah, not only that, it's round. It's Well, I would square them and... off if I had to keep them, but. Yeah, it seems like you could take them off. Yeah. But it I... depends on the HOA, is that what it is? Is that why you're saying that? No, no. I, they were going to tell me if some, for some reason, those things had anything to do with the house. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, but I don't think so. Either. I'm not a contractor, but yeah. So what's going on with this beautiful pool here? So I really like the pool. It's pretty, but it's not my style. I actually just ripped all this kind of pebble tech out of my old house. Okay. So I'm going to redo the tile mm -hmm. and, um, probably do a white pebble tech. Ooh, that's gonna look nice and bright. Yeah, the white pebble tech, do some white and dark, dark gray or black mm -hmm. tiles somewhere. Not where there's water because I don't like all that staining. <laughs> now, are you required to have this view fencing? Yes. Yes, you have to do the view fencing. You can actually buy, what is it, 20 feet out into the golf course? Now? Really? Yeah. Hmm. Red Rock lets you buy, it's a process. My friends, it's taken them like a year to get the approval. It's really pricey. I don't think I'm going to do it. I think that I have plenty of space. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe. We'll see. But then around this corner, there's um, there's like a fire pit. I'm still debating if I should keep the fire pit or not. Um, because there will be a door here. It might be like a fire pit in a sitting area, or I might just remove the fire pit. I wanted to put my outdoor kitchen over there. That'd be kind of cool. But accessing it sucks. Yeah, you have but to go through these I feel doors. like you're there in the kitchen, all this is open, and you have that grill area all blocking it. Because it's. It does, I'm not, not. I'm not buying the house, so. That's part but, of my problem with putting it right there. Yeah. That's why I wanted to put it over here. But then I'm like, how do you access it? Walking through your living room to get like. Imagine yeah, but how a often are you going to use it? I grill all the time. I got four boys. Well, then you just open this up. Well, you got five now. <laughs> Six, seven. <laughs> 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 Y'all are coming over for, for some barbecue. Well, so I know this drops down. You're talking about leveling all that up. This You're going to have your slider. Level. Okay, so you're bringing all this up too as well. Well, no, no. No, it will not. I'm sorry. This part will not. Okay. Um. This will... No, I guess it will. You yeah, would have to because be. if all this is level, your door's here. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Here. We're bringing this. Now I remember. We're okay. bringing all this. And there will be a step after because you okay. can't, I mean, how are you going to bring all that up? Yeah. So you have to have a step somewhere. So yeah, because all this is going to be gone, Yeah. that space. So it will, it will have a step. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And the palm tree is going. If someone wants a palm tree. York. Hook, we, bro, you know, these, <laughs> these, these things are like 4,300 bucks yeah. or even that? more. I think that's more. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. But yeah. also a huge source of rat. Yes. Yeah, true. Yeah. Do you know That's how many place. openings, just so you know, you know how many openings um, they found in this house that rats were accessing? No. 32. What? Well, how were they getting into it, though? All of the stuff. Pay attention. Yeah. All those openings on top of your roof, yeah. if you don't have that mesh. Yeah, the chicken wire stuff. Yep. Yeah. They will get in. And there were 32 access points that they were huh. getting in the house. See, that's why I don't live in Summerlin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're in Green Valley, too. <laughs> I had them when I lived in Green Valley, too. <laughs> I hate Green Valley. <laughs> All right. Well, Lisa, I just want to say thank you so much for showing your property. And we definitely want to come back when it's complete. Right. Now, Lisa also has a YouTube channel. Yep. Right. Yep. What's the name of that YouTube channel? It has changed. <laughs> Again? <laughs> I changed it. I didn't okay. like the last one. So okay. it's. Lisa Lopez Luxury Real Estate. Okay. I'm going to have York put the link in the description and also your Instagram too as well. What's your Instagram account? It's also Lisa Lopez Luxury Real okay. Estate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are about this home. If you guys want to see the complete remodel, let us know in the comments. Other than that, peace. Bye.